This is a short video showing the training steps you go through at Lookout Mountain Flight Park to prepare to mountain launch. You're going to need your H2 or Hang 2, and I'll explain what that is and how to get it in this video. Okay, so keep in mind the information here is just my perspective uh, of the process that I went through at Lookout Mountain Flight Park. And there are official requirements and regulations and definitions. Uh, you'll want to check yushpa.org for that information. And when you get through the process and do this launch, man, it is spectacular. And when you get the first day is ground school, and you'll spend it here on what they call the small hills or the bunny hills. In ground school, you're going to start getting familiar with the hang glider and the gear. You're going to learn how to hook in, how to do a hang check. You're going to learn how to pick the glider up and run with it. Uh, and uh, you're going to get a few flights in as well. You're going to get your first taste of air. After ground school, you'll spend the next days on the small hill where you're going to learn to set up and pre-flight your own glider. And you're going to be practicing confident launches, controlling your airspeed, uh, having good straight level flights and work out your foot landings. The goal is to get four uh, great flights with, with good smooth foot landings in a row uh, to head towards your H1 certification. And then you'll just need to head up and, and take your hang one test. For the Hang 1 test, as well as the Hang 2 test, you'll want the book, Hang Gliding for Beginner Pilots by Peter Cheney. It's available up in the shop. Don't avoid these tests. These tests are pretty easy. They're basics, uh, and it's all in the book. Uh, just chapters 1 through 4 for the Hang 1, and you retake it till you pass. Once an instructor has signed you off on the small hill and you've passed your H1 written, you're now Hang 1, and you've been cleared for the big hill. The Big Hill will give you higher and longer flights, which will let you practice your turns, uh, controlling your airspeed, using good judgment, and practicing the approach that you're going to use when you launch off the mountain. Your instructors will take you through a series of tasks where you vary airspeed, you work on turns, really, again, just prepping you for uh, your approach when you launch off the mountain. You'll, you'll spend the majority of time here, but it's very dependent on each person. For your Hang 2 written test, you'll use the same book that you use for your Hang 1 written test. And again, don't hesitate to take this test. You take it until you pass, and when you take it, you review your answers with the instructor. So the, the goal really uh, is that you understand uh, the information. Once you pass your H2 exam and you've been cleared on the big hill, congratulations. Now you have your H2 and you're cleared for the mountain. In final preparation, you'll take your mountain test, which is a written test, all the basics of launching off the mountain. The, the most important thing here is the conversation you'll have with your instructor about this information. You'll do a parachute clinic, which is a video and a walkthrough of deploying a parachute. But the most important thing here is that chalk talk, because that's going to be you and your instructor laying out your flight plan, talking about the launch approach, the pattern, the landing, and all of the what to do ifs. Well, if you made it this far, then you must be ready. You wouldn't be here unless the instructor team cleared you on the small hill, then on the big hill, and then cleared you for the mountain. You know the glider flies, you know how to launch it, how to turn it, and how to land. You're ready. A couple last tips. Take those written tests as quick as you can. They're not that difficult, and you end up having great conversations with your instructors. Also, spend time at the ramp, meeting people, watching them set up and fly. You'll learn a whole bunch about weather, and you also make some friends to coordinate rides later on. Get a package that lets you learn at your own pace. Everybody takes a different amount of time to learn. And lastly, get ready to wait on the weather. They call it hang waiting. It's just part of the game. And finally, our favorite words to hear, have a great flight.